Greetings, Earthlings, and welcome back to Spooky Story October. So this story comes from my buddy, John McAfoy. There was this old urban legend that if you stayed up until 3 a.m. in his kitchen, you'd eat a big bite of peanut butter and jelly. The story goes that the previous owner had been sitting at the table, just getting ready to take a big bite of peanut butter and jelly, but his grandma, like, slipped and died in the kitchen at 3 a.m. or something. So, like, her ghost is still trying to give him a big bite of peanut butter and jelly. John thought this was hogwash. Now, unlike me, he believed in ghosts, he just didn't believe that a grandma was awake at 3 a.m. He was Australian. So then one night, some random janitor at the school dares him to stay up until 3 a.m. in his kitchen. His street cred would go negative if he didn't take a dare from a janitor, so he took it on. Uh, he was homeschooled, I have no clue what he was doing with the school janitor. So 2 a.m. rolls around, and he's feeling pretty confident. He's sitting there in the kitchen with a flashlight, a biography of George Washington Carver and a copy of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory because he thought that Willy Wonka invented jelly and nothing seemed out of the ordinary. Then 250 hits. He starts to hear some spooky noises like floorboards squeaking and pipes clanking. He starts getting scared. He doesn't want to eat a big bite of peanut butter and jelly because he doesn't like strawberry jelly and they were out of grape. But then at 259 the dishwasher starts going crazy and the house goes haywire, so he says, Fine! If I eat a big bite of peanut butter and jelly, will you stop? And so he grabs a spoon and he takes a big bite of peanut butter and jelly and the house goes silent. He looks at the clock and it's 3 a.m., so he goes to bed. The next morning, he's a little shaken, but you know, he says hi to his mom and all that. She says to his dad, Dear, we need more peanut butter and jelly. I used the last big bite yesterday. And there was no peanut butter and jelly in the house. So then he realized that a grandma could just go to bed early and wake up at 3 a.m. Uh, he, he was never really the same after that. I have a lot of weird friends. Magister Dixie.